So this package just came in the mail, and I'm not sure exactly what it is or what it could be, but because it's got a Gatorade logo on the front, I would assume something to do with Gatorade. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today we're gonna find out what's inside this mystery Gatorade package. So this isn't actually the first package that I've gotten from Gatorade. Back in 2017, I got, you know what, let me just show you guys. Back in 2017, I got one of the biggest packages I've ever gotten. I believe it was from Jordan Brand, but it was also a collab with uh, Gatorade, and it came with two pairs of sneakers, a hat, a shirt, and a bunch of like Gatorade mix. It was one of the coolest packages I've ever gotten. And I don't usually save packages like this just because they're so big and so bulky, but this one was so cool, I had to. So while this Gatorade box isn't as big as this older Gatorade box, I still think it's gonna be pretty exciting because Gatorade never really seems to disappoint. Please don't fall, Michael. I really need you to not fall. But before we actually dive right into this brand new Gatorade package, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, and also give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter, at RealSethFowler. But I guess at this point, there's really nothing left to do than cut this guy open and see what we've got. There we go. Ooh. All right, we got some sneakers and we got some other stuff. Oh, this is gonna be an exciting box, I'm stoked. First, we gotta read the note. Hey Seth, we're excited to share this limited edition <coughs> colorway with you, an exclusive GX kit. Gatorade is committed to pushing the game forward with new and exciting innovation. We've developed GX because every athlete is unique. GX allows athletes to hydrate on and off the court with style and swagger. Your GX bottle was inspired by the newest <coughs> colorway and could be used with GX pods. We hope you enjoy your new GX bottle and pods and we can't wait to see you in your new <coughs> shoes. I'm not gonna tell you guys what they are, but a lot of you guys probably already know what they are. First off, huge thank you to Gatorade for sending over this package. It's always exciting to get stuff from Gatorade. I mean, obviously they send over pretty ridiculous stuff, but before we actually get into the shoes themselves, let's take a look at what else is going on inside the box. Now to be honest though, I'm not exactly sure what I should start with. So this is most likely a Gatorade towel. Let's pull it open and see what we got. Oh, that's sick. Can you guys see the whole thing? I might have to zoom out the camera lens a little bit. But the graphic on the front is awesome. And then it's also got a really cool graphic on the back as well. I might actually hang this on my office wall. Is that weird? Should I not do that? I might do it anyway, actually. <laughs> okay, so next up we've got a box. And for those of you who are eagle-eyed viewers who know probably what shoe this is, you might have caught the logo of the shoe on the towel, but I didn't mention it because I don't want to ruin the surprise for you guys who don't know what shoe it is. But here's the next box. It's kind of just a plain white box with some text on the ends that say, Welcome to the evolution of sports fuel. Let's rip it. <clears throat> Let's just pull this open. <laughs> Having trouble opening it, so great unboxing so far. Finally got it. I cut out a couple minutes of me actually trying to open this because it was getting sad. So let's pop the top on this guy. Ooh, look at this. Nice packaging in there. We got some bubble wrap. Take that off. And we've got some GX pods right there. And what I'm assuming is the GX bottle, which they mentioned in the notes. So let's pull this out. Packaging on this is sick. Look at this. Okay, let's pop the top on this guy. That is so sick. Check that out. Special edition GX bottle right here. And I think we can actually pop the top on this and load in some GX. Add cold water to fill zone, add a pod to GX bottle, makes 30 fluid ounces. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've got a glass of water over there and I've got a water bottle and I've got the GX pods. I'm really tempted to just make some right now, but I feel like I should wash this before I use it. What the hell, we're just gonna do it. Okay, yeah, wasn't enough uh, water. Ah, <sighs> okay. We are refilled and ready to go. So, uh, let's try out this GX pod. I've never actually tried out GX. Okay, so there's some instructions on the back of the box right there that sort of tells you how to fill up your Gatorade GX bottle. It says, add cold water to fill zone. Done. Add a pod to GX bottle. So that's the next step. So let's open up this box right here. Hopefully I won't spill my uh, open GX bottle on me. Which, you know, is bound to happen, because I'm clumsy as hell. It's ridiculous. But inside this little GX pod box right here, we've got four GX pods. And from what I can tell from the instructions is that you just need this little pod right here, and you can fill up the entire 30 ounces of water with Gatorade. Is it a pop or a twist? Oh, okay. So I might actually be able to just press the top of this lid into the bottle, and it works. Let's try it. I'm actually really excited to see this happen. Here we go. So you press the top into this like plastic part of the top and you squeeze it in from there. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Hold up, let me show you guys. That's so cool. And apparently you can actually recycle these capsules too. That's awesome. Maybe not after I crushed it the way that I did, but do you shake it? You probably gotta shake it, right? So I feel like it's ready. Let's try it. Moment of truth time. I'm stoked. Here we go. That 
tastes just like Gatorade. I mean, it is Gatorade, so of course it's gonna taste just like Gatorade, but that tastes just like Fruit Punch Gatorade. I'm gonna be drinking this the whole video. I know it. Huge thank you to Gatorade for providing today's hydration. Appreciate that. Okay, so next up, I believe all that's left inside the box is the shoes themselves. So as you probably already guessed from the logo that you saw on the towel or the fact that this is a Gatorade collaboration, this is the Gatorade GX Paul George 4s. Now I've talked about this shoe a few times on some of my sit or sell videos and some of my weekly heat videos. And to be honest with you, I'm skeptical because I've never owned a pair of Paul George 4s. And it's a shoe that I've never taken the chance to actually try, but now that I'm sent a pair, I'm definitely gonna try it out and see what I think of it. I also gotta say too, this shoe is pretty much sold out everywhere. Like as soon as the shoe dropped on the sneakers app, it was sold out. It was sold out on Foot Locker, it was sold out on Champs. I actually haven't been able to find a pair of these anywhere. So shout out to Gatorade for sending me a pair of sold out shoes. So the official colorway of this PG4 is Summit White Multicolor, and the retail price of this pair was 120 bucks. But let me stop wasting your time. Let's open up the box and see how they look. All right, all right, they look better in person. You know, there's something kind of crazy about these. They remind me a lot of like some KD6s from back in the day, or maybe KD7s, the ones that had that sort of translucent outer shell. Was that the KD7s or the 8s? So these are the Paul George 4 Gatorade GX collaborations. And what I really like about this pair of shoes is that the outer layer of the shoe is this translucent plastic mesh. And the reason I like that is because it actually ties into the collaboration really well. So the reason I like this concept so much is because I think this clear plastic mesh actually represents clear water before you put in the Gatorade GX. And as you guys just saw, you pour in the GX into the water and it kind of gives it this cool, almost like 3D cloud-like appearance in the water, and that's almost what it looks like it's doing in this shoe, which I think is kind of crazy. I'm actually really into this look a lot. I didn't think I would be, but I'm into it. I've also never owned a pair of PG4s, so I'm just really excited to try out a pair of PG4s for myself and see how good they actually are. Okay, so first impressions trying on this shoe, and keep in mind, I've never tried on a pair of PG4s, so this is a whole new experience for me. This shoe did seem to fit true to size, but to be fair, it was kind of snug, especially around the toe. And that's something which I don't think is bad, but if you have a longer foot, maybe go up half a size. As far as padding goes, especially around the heel and the ankle, it's definitely plush, it's definitely thick, and it feels really nice against your ankle. I obviously wore these shoes unlaced, and they still fit fine, it's great for casual wear, but I bet you if you really tied down these laces and really locked your foot into the shoe, it would push you up against this padding and really lock you down. And while the shoe is already pretty snug with the laces untied, the snugness would definitely increase exponentially as you tie the laces on the shoe, I'm sure. As far as the midsole comfort of the shoe goes, it's pretty decent. It's got a full length air unit and then this foam around the air unit. It felt decent. It wasn't incredibly soft underfoot, but this is more of like a point guard guard type of shoe and you don't really want that much cushion unless you're a bigger guy. And if you're really running around and making quick cuts, this is probably a better cushioning setup to have. Aesthetically, I'm actually really into this shoe, which for me is a huge surprise because even just seeing pictures of the shoe online, I was never like a huge fan, but you really start to get the feel of the shoe that just couldn't be communicated through pictures. And I don't know why that is because I took some pretty good pictures of this shoe online. I don't know what about it makes me like it more in person, but I'm just really into it. And I think my favorite part of the shoe overall is the way that this upper looks through this translucent mesh. It's such an interesting and different look, and it reminds me a lot of like those sort of shrouds over top of Air Jordans, like the Air Jordan 28, I think. Personally, I really like these yellow finger type things with these blue accents that hold the laces in place. Even on the medial side of the shoe, where it's more of like a shorts mesh, I'm still into it, which is weird because it's a material that I didn't think I was gonna like, but Seeing it on this shoe, it really creates a nice contrast between this clear plastic mesh. Another detail that I didn't actually notice until I had the shoes on my feet was that the pattern on the toe of the shoe is actually a mix of PG's logo and the Gatorade GX logo. It's actually a really nice look and it gives the toe of the sneaker some dimensionality. Is that the right way to use that word? Not sure, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Around the back of the shoe, another detail which I really like is this white patent leather that has Paul George's signature in orange. Also, speaking of orange, this shoe went really nicely with the orange reflective apothecary socks, which 
happen to be dropping on Friday. So maybe if you have a pair of Gatorade PG4s, grab a pair of the Apothecary socks. I don't know, just a thought. But I've got to say that the Gatorade PG4 is a shoe that surprised me in a lot of ways. The main way is that this is a shoe that I would actually wear casually, which I never thought I would say. And also, I feel like this colorway is just the best PG4 colorway to release so far. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the Gatorade PG4s and whether you have a pair or you'd like to grab a pair for yourself. But with that, we pretty much wrap up the video for today. Huge thank you to Gatorade for sending over the PG4s and also this awesome Gatorade GX, which is going to ruin my life because I'm going to keep buying Gatorade GX because it tastes so good. I've been drinking it throughout the entire video and I can't stop. It's really scary. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.